Hi, this is Emmanuel. Alright, so today we are going to be talking about how to run time series analysis in R. Before we continue, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video, and if you have any problem pertaining the video, kindly comment on the comment section. Alright, okay, now so time series uh, analysis is used to see how objects behave over a period of time. Now, in R, this is easily done by the function ts. Alright, now, so this function is used to predict behavior of an asset of a business over a period of time. It can also be used to look at the sales analysis of an, a company, inventory analysis, price analysis of a particular stock or market, population analysis, examination analysis as well over a period of time okay so for the purpose of this lesson i have designed a simple data we would use import data so we are going to use we are going to save the data in the variable name time then use the read the csv file the choose and set the header equal to two all right so hit the control enter all right so our data is saved on desktop time series all right so now this is our data okay we can view this information control enter okay so here is our data here are the dates and here are the scores so the data is scores of um, mathematics for over the period of six years from 2004 to 2010 okay so now there is something we have to look at very well if you look at the class of this our data time going to enter is in data frame but we need it to be a time series data so we have to convert it to a time series data so convert our data to time series And in doing that, we use the function ts. So let's assign a variable to, uh, let's say, time ts. All right, so we use the, uh, this uh, function ts, open bracket. The data, the data is assigned to the variable time. And we are making use of the, the information on the score, okay? So the time, dollar sign, score saved here already comma so we tell R what year we are starting okay so from our data we are starting from 2004 and we also tell R what year we are ending so we are ending at 2010 then we set the frequency now this frequency can be set for uh, either daily which is 365 or uh, monthly which is 12 or quarterly which is 4 or annually which is 1 so uh, for the purpose of this lesson we are going to be making our data to be in uh, quarterly okay so I'm going to put 4 and click and click control enter alright so that uh, R has um, automatically saved that for me so now quickly um, let's try to see our data okay so look at it here our data is not arranged quarterly and let's look at the class now and see what kind of data we're having time cs control enter all right so this is a time series data bravo we have succeeded in converting our data from data frame to time series and we can plot our information on a graph time ts Control enter all right this is our information on a graph okay starting from 2004 and ending at 2010 
okay so from from here we can actually we can also plot our our uh, our, our data still on a line time ts and let's see how this goes okay now let's go back to our diagram so here is it all right so still the same thing as that which we did when we made use of the plot function all right so this is where we are going to be uh, stopping for this video okay so the second part of this uh, video on time series will be coming up very soon so stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you have a problem comment drop your comment in the comment section like and share this video and keep your fingers crossed in our next video I'll be revealing to you how we can use R to forecast using Arima model. Bye.